Good morning, everyone. It's about five o'clock in the morning. I'm getting ready, taking the tent down and getting on the trail. Just had a little sneezing fit. <laughs> but me and dude is up and ready to go. So let's go do some conquering. It's a little bit cold this morning. Eh, I should say cool, not cold. Uh, I just had to put on my long sleeve layer. Uh, over top of my t-shirt or sleeveless shirt and on I went made pretty good time this morning uh, getting everything taken down put away eating some breakfast sneezing fit <laughs> number two sneezing fit I don't mean number two as in business meeting <laughs> I mean my second sneezing fit of the day uh, you know getting everything ready in about 30 minutes, so I'm on the trail here at 5.30. Seeing how far I can get. Uh, like I said, it's cool. It's about 45 degrees. Supposed to get in the mid-60s today, it looks like. Uh, but it's supposed to start storming around 11 o'clock, it's still calling for. So trying to get as many hours, I mean, sorry, as many miles in. And those amount of hours as I can, in case I have to get off the trail or shelter in a shelter. Uh, still want to get as many miles as possible. But if it's just rain... I'll probably just keep going until I get to New York and uh, see see what I'm going to do then. Uh, but if not, then there's a couple different things I could do, a couple shelters, and uh, there's even a town that I could get into if I needed to. So, playing it by ear, like I always do. Uh, but for now, let's conquer this trail. That took all of 35 minutes. <laughs> It does not feel like 45 degrees out here. It's quite a bit milder than that. Not really sure what that was picking up on for temperature. Uh, it was. I had a signal on my phone, and I just look up the temperature for the closest location. Uh, it wasn't like uh, my own thermometer or anything. So I'm not really sure what it was picking up, but it was definitely... It does not feel like 45 degrees. I mean, I guess it could be. I could just be off today. I don't know. But... I know what 45 degrees feels like, and it feels cooler than this. <laughs> I had to take that shirt off. It's not like I'm working too hard. Not really anything ascending yet. Just kind of flat. It went down about two or 300 feet. Very cruisy trail for the most part. Of course, as soon as I say that, now there's some rocks and some swampy ground underneath it. But I digress. It's been pretty nice. My glasses are falling. Um... Yeah, so I took that off and uh, feels like it's going to be a really nice morning, even though it's going to rain a little later. The sun's kind of peeking through and uh, nice and mild temperatures and not too hot, not too cold. Perfect hiking weather.
stagnant pond here, but beautiful views early in the morning with the sun and the hazy clouds and then the reflection. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love the beauty of nature. This little bunny here was going northbound. And then he got a little scared because I was coming up behind him making all this noise. So he got off the trail. Just sitting about two foot off the trail here. Just chilling out. Wait until I go past probably. Cute little bunny. You're not a bear, but you're still cute. <laughs> Across the road coming back into the forest and this was here six gallons of water a little trail magic says please take one or two we want everybody to have some magic so I got a little whole grain cracker with peanut butter so whoever does this if you're watching thank you very much appreciate it you rock couple streams run through here they're low but at least they're here and they're not stagnant and they're running a little bit as you can see over there I'm good on water right now so I don't need any water but it's a welcome sight because New Jersey's been pretty dry but from what I understand this part of New Jersey which is the last part of it before going into New York is uh, kind of swampy and actually, the last few miles or last 20-ish miles or so is supposed to jump back and forth between New York and New Jersey. But, of course, you don't call it as far as New Jersey being done and in the bag. I won't call that until I cross through New Jersey for the last time. And that is, uh, that's a ways up here. So about 25 miles, I think. Maybe, maybe 23 now. Trying to think of what I've done so far today. Uh, yeah, I think it's about 23 miles uh, before Jersey is completely done. So over the next several miles, it goes back and forth. Uh, the next town, uh, which is 2.8 miles away, last time I looked, <laughs> the intersection that takes you to that town, that town is actually Unionville, New York. Uh, but I believe you... There's several roads that come off the trail, that cross the trail for some reason and go into that. Uh, so I think a couple of them are on the Jersey side when you're crossing off the trail and then some are in New York. So I might be in New York right now for all I know. I don't really know when it crosses back and forth unless I look at the map. And I don't have time for that to just look at the map all the time. Ooh, I'm in New York. Ooh, I'm in New Jersey. Because at the end of the day... It doesn't matter until New Jersey goes in a bag. Then it matters. Until then, I just take whatever the trail gives me. But anyway, I digress. I love to go down rabbit holes, if you haven't noticed. I digress. This area coming up is uh, supposed to be a little swampy compared to the dry area of Jersey before. So Jersey really has all kinds of terrain. Rockiness, a little bit of cruisiness on trail, dry dirt, and dry land, dry terrain, beautiful forest, open pastures, and then swampy areas, mountains, flatland and farmland, a little bit of everything. And if you've been following me for any time, you know I love it when the terrain changes, makes it like a whole new hike at that point. Definitely helps you build on the miles and take even more of the beauty in. Crossing over a bunch of roots right now. 
notice that there's a lot more roots in the last 10 miles or so than there have been. There's been pretty much rocks before then, but a lot more roots mixed in with the rocks now. All right, anyway, continuing on. Pretty cruisy trail right now. I don't know if that's gonna last for a while or not, but I sure am digging it right now. Oh yeah. Out here in a little meadow pasture again before going back in the forest there. You can see this water over here. That is gross. That's what it looks like on this side. Beautiful greens everywhere. But yeah, that green on that water. Not so yummy. Definitely swampy. Moss and swamp. All on top of that water. Mmm, don't think I'm drinking any of that. Nope. I feel like there should be an alligator in here. <laughs> There's not. At least there shouldn't be. It's New Jersey, but you never know. <laughs> this looks like a type of place they would love to be in. Feels like I'm in Florida. on the edge of this meadow out here but right on the edge of the forest too and i'm walking and i keep looking over here and i see that <laughs> all these trees and everything that i should be walking in and my heart is like going wait i want to be in there <laughs> that's weird it's the first time i've seen that out here where you're right on the edge of the forest in the meadow usually you're out in the middle of the meadow and not near the forest or a mountain <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Literally, my heart trembled or cried. <laughs> like, I want to be in there with the trees. <laughs> Probably a Henry in there that I'm not getting to see. <laughs> it is sure is beautiful, though. That is for sure. So here's some boardwalks going through the swamp. You could see some swamp water over there. And I've heard about this. I didn't know exactly where it was, but right here is a sign saying, no, 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 don't even think about it. Swamp is flooded. Take the temporary reroute. Uh, this right here, I guess, is the reroute. Um, you know, I'm seeing comments where sometimes the water's up to your hips and other times where it's up to your ankles. So I don't know which one's true, but I don't feel like getting soaked today because I'm trying to get out or near shelter or in a town by the time the storms come in here in about four hours. So I'm trying to get as many miles as I can. So I am going to go down here to the reroute and see if this gets me all the way around the flooded part of the swamp. It would be kind of fun though <laughs> to go through this swamp. Not gonna lie, that would be kind of fun, but uh, not on the day when you're trying to get somewhere as quick as you can or to get as many miles in as quick as you can today. So, All right, let's see what this reroute's all about. The reroute takes you out on a road walk for a little bit. All right here's the swamp on that side. And over here's the other side that it had me uh, go around. You definitely see it's still, that's pretty high. I'm not sure how high. I had to put my... I don't know if I could get down there. Oh yeah, that's at least halfway on my sticks. So, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be necessarily going through that. They probably have boardwalks uh, there that were used to be there that are now flooded over that because a swamp is always going to be wet. <laughs> so, the flooded most likely means like the trail itself is flooded, or the boardwalks that take you over the water are flooded over. Uh, so I don't know how deep that is, but I'm going to just keep going on the road walk up here to uh, the little detour and reroute. I'm not a big fan of road walks, but you got to do them sometimes. So 
getting around this uh, reroute here and uh, back on trail. Nice views of the mountains in the meadow here again. Walking right alongside the forest. Might need to cut some weeds here. <laughs> Bales of hay out there. Some swamp lands with some mountains in the background, and I think I'm actually heading over to one of those. I have about a 1,200 foot climb here in the next couple miles, so it must be over one of those hills over there. The big New Jersey hills. Florida Swamp. Hold it, what state am I in? Doing a lot of these dirt road type of road walks today. This over here is the other side of the swamp. Basically over there where that tree line is. Walked all the way down there, then it comes all the way around, and then it comes here and then it walks back the same direction so basically could have cut off miles by just crossing right there but obviously it's really swampy and wet and marshy there so that's why you can't do that uh, so basically going up here then it cuts back in the forest and then i believe it starts going up those smaller mountains that are that i had shown you earlier but uh, has it hasn't started raining yet i'm not sure when it's supposed to start uh, but I think I'm about 11 or 12, maybe 13 miles in for the day so far. Um, not that late, like 10, 15 or something in the morning. So still ahead of the rain, seeing what happens. Playing it ear by ear, day by day, minute by minute. Playing it by ear, that's what I meant, not ear by ear. <laughs> like something did sound wrong and right about that. <laughs> I think I'm going crazy. I think that shows a little bit how dry it is right now because this is all this boardwalk is here because it's supposed to be a little swampy and marshy underneath there and it's pretty dry you could literally walk right on the ground right now without stepping in water or even dampness it looks like so, pretty dry out definitely could use rain it's going to be happening later today Starting to climb here, uh, about 1,200 feet of elevation, uh, just over the next couple miles, I believe, and uh, then about 1,200 of descension coming down to the road. I'm not sure if it's all at once, up and then down, uh, but definitely a steeper hill here. You could see it in the distance what it was going to look like. <laughs> it definitely has some elevation to this. Uh, probably about 1500 or so nothing big but basically coming from close to sea level maybe three or four hundred uh salvation where i started from the uh, road crossing i just did uh, but this is definitely steep so gets the blood flowing uh, about four and a half miles to get to the road where i will be getting picked up and taken into town to at least resupply maybe just kill some time uh, but possibly take cover for the night depending on how bad the uh, 
rain is. I almost said water because this thing right here says water to the left. Apparently this goes to an abandoned shack where they have a water spigot on the house because it's owned by the trail or something. So you can still get water there. But I'm good on water for now uh, since I'll be getting picked up there at any rate. So keep it on, keep it on. Four and a half miles to go. Get there as soon as I can. And hopefully beat out the rain even though the rain is definitely coming. You can feel it in the air and you can see it on the radar <laughs> and you can tell by the lightness and the darkness of the skies. All right, continuing on. Let's conquer. That was a pretty intense little climb. Only about four or 500 feet, but it was kind of a brutal straight up. Uh, got me sweating pretty good. Then went down and still going down and then I think it goes right back up another four or five hundred feet and then goes down again I think it goes up again and then down so just a lot of ups and downs which is what New York is anyway there's a lot of ups and downs so very similar to what I'll be seeing a lot of in New York and I might be in New York right now I don't know it goes back and forth between New York and New Jersey a lot so I'm not really sure where I am at this particular moment I know the road I'm coming out to uh, when I'm getting picked up. That is, that's New Jersey. But uh, New York and New Jersey kind of go back and forth, kind of like North Carolina and Tennessee did, and even West Virginia and Virginia did for a minute. It keeps going back and forth. So I don't know where I am right now, but that was a, that was a tough little climb. I shouldn't say tough, but I mean, it wasn't anything serious or anything like that. Just... <laughs> A good workout. Haven't had that for a minute, so that felt good. But uh, definitely slows you down a little bit too, so and allows you to breathe a little bit before the next up. I do kind of like that. So, all right, continue on. Pretty steep. Sun's not out. You would think I wouldn't need my sunglasses on top of my head, <laughs> but they're still there, and they keep falling down. <sighs> oh, this ain't even a mountain. <laughs> it's just a little incline. Oops. <sighs> Whew. Nice view. Looking over here on this cliff. I don't know if you can really see it because it is raining right now. It has started. Climbing rocks in the rain. Can be challenging but some of them are still kind of dry because the trees block some of it but some of them can be kind of slippery so you gotta watch your step but obviously I'm trying to get out of here as quick as I can to be at that road before it really starts raining hard and the storms start coming the rain doesn't bother me you seen my little rain dance <laughs> that doesn't bother me The lightning that bothers me. 
Heck, I haven't even put my rain jacket on yet because this feels good and refreshing. It's going to be a lot of what I'm dealing with up in New England, so might as well get used to it now. It is so peaceful walking in a rain of this magnitude. It's heavier than what it is falling right now, but all the coverage up here definitely helps. I'm getting quite wet. The backpack's getting quite wet. But it's not the soaking that would happen with a monsoon, which is supposed to be coming in the next hour or so. And then the storm's coming in, so I am thankful that that's not happening right now because this is so peaceful beautiful green beautiful trail there's been a lot of scrambling up rocks all of a sudden in the last mile um but i made it all that i didn't slip and fall so just gotta take your time sometimes and also hope for the best because sometimes you can be as careful as you want and still fall <laughs> or slip so right now it's a nice cruiser type Nice coverage, nice dark forest, peaceful sounding rain. I'll let it go for a second so you can hear it. It's raining harder now. Every once in a while, I come from underneath the covering of the trees, it gets even harder, but <laughs> yeah, I started to cross a road back there to come to the other side where the trail starts going again through the forest and boom, buckets. Like a monsoon shortfall, I got soaked. <laughs> Still feels good though. Woo, -hoo! makes you feel alive.